Hi, and welcome to the Eczema Podcast, where you'll learn tips, products, and natural eczema remedies from Abby, registered holistic nutritionist and founder of PrimePhysiqueNutrition.com. Stay tuned as she invites experts in the field. Here's your host of the Eczema Podcast, Abby. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Eczema Podcast. Today, I'm here with a very special guest who has been on the show before. His name is Ben Fuchs, and he was on another episode back on season two, episode four, where he talked about using the power of using topical nutrition as medicine. And I just want to say that this guy is so smart, and I feel like he's one of the most knowledgeable people I've met when it comes to the skin He is a skin pharmacist. He's a nutritionist. He's been making and formulating skin products for 33 years already. And it is so amazing. He actually worked for the Blistex company and he started out that way. And then he also created a skincare company as well. And he has various products. But he also has his own radio show in the States. And he travels the world and gives lectures as well. And I'm just excited to bring him back today because I just find him so knowledgeable when it comes to the skin. I love that he's a skin formulator and a pharmacist as well. But the great thing is that he's not just formulating products, you know, mainstream products with mainstream ingredients in it, but he makes very, very natural products with very active ingredients in it. And in today's podcast, we did get cut off in the beginning. So when you hear the podcast, you'll notice that he jumps right into talking. So hopefully that doesn't come across as too strange. (laughs) But basically what we talk about is that he's talking about how certain products that you buy on the mainstream market have inactive ingredients, especially if the first ingredient is water. And a lot of times, if you check your face cream or your body cream, the first product is often aqua. Sometimes they even put it as as aloe juice. And a lot of times this is actually just water. The first ingredient is water. And he basically says that these are inactive ingredients and you're buying products and spending a lot of money on these products that actually don't have very many active ingredients in it. Whereas his products, I've actually tried, it really helped my flare up. His products are on the more expensive side, but that's because His products have so many active ingredients in it. They don't have any water or anything. They just contain vitamins and nutrients in it. For example, his Truth Serum contains so much vitamin C in it that one drop of his product contains more vitamin C than in other jars of cream that you might find on the market. So I find that so amazing. And he's been formulating products forever. uh, Like I mentioned, 33 years. So that's a really, really long time. And I also want to mention that he is 60 years old. So if you um, ever see his photo or you visit his site, pharmacistben.com, and you see his photo, he looks really young for his age. So he's definitely doing something right. If you're interested in trying any of Ben's products, you can go to truthtreatments.com and I have a coupon code for you. Just use have the truth 20 and that will give you 10% off his products. So that's have the truth 20. I also want to mention that my eight-week group coaching program with the Conquer Eczema Academy has opened for enrollment again, and we are closing the doors soon. So if you would like to join and uh, get support and guidance, you can visit ConquerEczemaAcademy.com or visit my website at PrimePhysiqueNutrition.com and then just go to the eight-week group coaching section. And me and the other eczema coach in the group would love to help you and support you on your journey. And we've helped so many people around the world from Amsterdam to Singapore to Hong Kong to US. We've had people all over the world and we've had people in UK and in Europe who've shown up at 2 or 3 a.m. just to join the calls because they're so looking forward to healing and so determined to heal. And I love that whenever I see people just so determined. So the program is eight weeks and every single week we have a live call and we give information on things that you can do to help your skin get better. We do teachings and we also give you recommendations, support and encouragement so that you're not alone on this journey. 
And if you miss the deadline, don't worry because you can always just message me or you can still join because you'll get lifetime access. So even though the program is eight weeks, you can always join again in the next round as well for another eight weeks or as many times as you like after, because we just want to see you get better and recovered as well. And it is our life purpose and mission to help you feel better. So without further ado, I did mention that today's episode is all about uh, nutrients that your skin might be missing and products that might help it. And so Ben jumps right into it. And he talks about uh, products and active ingredients and inactive ingredients. So here goes, and I hope you enjoy this podcast. So now it's 30 grams. 27 grams to 29 grams is baloney. It's just there so you can have a product. And one to three grams in your typical product is there for your skin. Less than that of oh. that 30 gram product. So you've now paid you'd now pay 10 times more for something than you need pay. And that's if those active ingredients actually even do anything. There's many active ingredients that don't even do anything. Because when it comes right down to it, Abby, having beautiful skin, like having a beautiful body, is a cellular issue. The body Mm -hmm. is made up of cells. You know, you've seen the little circles in biology, obviously. They're little animals, really. It's made up of cells and the stuff that comes out of the cells. That's all your body is. And when you're sick, it's not the stuff that's out of the skin that's coming out of the cell that's the problem. It's the cell. All disease is cell disease. And so to be healthy, you've got to figure out how to nourish the cell. You also got to figure out how to breathe the cell and detoxify the cell. And those are the only three things the cell needs. But the, one of those three is nourishment and nutrition. And it's true about every cell, but it's especially true about the skin. When we have When we're unhealthy, when our skin is not looking as good as it should, one of the key elements that's missing in the skin cell is vitamin C. Another key element that's missing is vitamin A. Under conditions of nutritional deficiency internally, the body will steal nutrients from the skin because the skin is not important to the body, not as important to the body as the heart or the liver, or the spleen, or the lungs. So under conditions of nutritional deficiency, which almost everybody is in, your skin is going to be deprived of nutrients. It turns out that the two most functional nutrients for a skin cell, specifically a fibroblast, the two main skin cells in the body, in the skin, are fibroblasts. They make collagen and and Mm -hmm. connective tissue and moisture factors, and keratinocytes. You've heard that term, I'm sure. Skin cells, keratinocytes Mm -hmm. are skin cells. So those are two main cell types. The keratinocytes grow upwards and they form the barrier and they're just regular cells. The fibroblasts are like factories. They extrude collagen and elastin and hyaluronic acid and all the good stuff really that keeps your skin nice and robust. The key to having beautiful skin doesn't have anything to do with the skin surface. It has to do with the lower levels where the skin cells, the keratinocytes live and the fibroblasts. Your key to having beautiful skin is to somehow amp up, rev up, enhance the health and the functionality of the skin cell, the keratinocyte, and the fibroblast, period. And there's not a lot of things they need. They need primarily, they need vitamin C, and they also need vitamin A. They also need oxygen. They also need a clean place to do their work. They also need other essential fats. But the thing about vitamin C and vitamin A, and this is miraculous in the world of skincare, this is what makes these two ingredients singular among all active ingredients, is vitamin C and vitamin A feed and nourish these cells. But what vitamin C and vitamin A do that distinguishes them from other nutrients is they can migrate through the skin to the lower levels where the living cells are. And there's hardly any ingredients that do that. And there's very few. And even better, they can actually traverse into a cell. Vitamin C and vitamin A can actually migrate into a cell where they can be functional in the cell. They can turn on the production of proteins in the case of vitamin C. They can protect the, protect the cell in the case of vitamin C. They can turn on the production of moisture factors genetically at the genetic level in the case of vitamin A. You can actually modify your genes, your fibroblast genes. You can upregulate your fibroblast genes and you can upregulate your skin cell, your keratinocyte genes by applying vitamin A topically. This makes vitamin A and vitamin C singular in the world of ingredients when it comes to skincare. But it's not that easy. 
That's just the first step because there's various forms of vitamin C, there's various mm-hmm. forms of vitamin A, there's various strategies to use to, to be able to uh, uh, enhance the migration of the vitamin C and the vitamin A through the skin. There's, there's all kinds of little tricks that you need to know. And I was a pharmacist. I'm a compounding pharmacist. I'm not just any pharmacist. Okay. I'm trained in compounding. How's, know, that, how, how's that different from regular pharmacy? Regular pharmacy is when you count the pills and you put them in the bottle. Yep. We used to call that in pharmacy school, count, pour, lick, and stick. <laughs> count, pour, lick, and stick. That's what you put the pills in the bottle. But what I got trained in in pharmacy school was a compounding for the skin. Compounding meaning making medicine. Right. So I, trained, okay. I, worked for the Blist- I worked for the guy who invented Blistex when I was in pharmacy school. Did I ever tell you that story? I, don't I know think you I- did. You did, yeah. That's I, cool. I, worked, well, I had a very... I had a very um, a very specialized training in skin and skincare and products and ingredients. And so I learned how to make products for the skin. And over the course of 32 years, I learned some tricks. I started a compounding pharmacy for the skin for many years, for almost 20 years. I had for 23 years, I had a, I owned a pharmacy. I started a pharmacy. I owned a pharmacy that only made skincare products. I actually started a skincare company out of this a very a pretty successful skincare company. When the products worked in the pharmacy setting, I made them into over-the-counter products. I've since sold the company, and now I have the truth. Because now, what I was, what I found myself doing was I did when I needed a skincare product for myself, or when I wanted to give it to a friend, my girlfriend, or my mother, or somebody I knew, I would go to the ingredient deck or the ingredient bench where I kept all my ingredients. I grabbed the ingredient that I want, vitamin C or vitamin A, typically. Sometimes I would use a few other things, and I would just. Take that ingredient. If it was a transdermal ingredient, I put it in a transdermal base of some kind, and I just give it to my friend. It would just be basically 100% or 90% active ingredient and a little bit of a transdermal matrix. And that's how I did it for me. I didn't mix up a cream and a lotion and water and wax and silicon and preservative and fragrance and stir it up and heat it up. I didn't. I didn't do any of that stuff. Why would I do any of that stuff? I didn't need the wax. Mm-hmm. I didn't need the emulsifier. I didn't need the surfactant or the preservatives. I didn't need any of that stuff. I didn't need the water. I didn't need the silicon. I just wanted the, the good stuff. And so for me, I would just use the good stuff. And for my uh, friends, people I really cared about, I just used the good stuff. And they say, hey, Ben, I need some of that vitamin C. I need some of that. <laughs> and so That's I'd awesome. do it. And, and I would just give it to my friends. And I would do it for myself. And so when I sold my company, I was like, you know what? Because what happened with my company is I had to, it got all businessy. I'm just a pharmacist. I don't really know too much about business, but it ended up happening is because there's money to be made in the skincare business. It attracted the attention of business people. So I got involved with business people and I didn't get to really do my passion, which was helping people. I got, I want to be a pharmacist. I want to help people. So when I sold the truth, when I sold by the company, I started the truth and the truth is the truth. It's all you need. The truth is all you need. You don't mm-hmm. need the baloney. You don't need the marketing. You don't need the water. You don't need the, the fragrance. You don't need the model. You don't need the, you need the stuff that's doing the work. And so this is what I always wanted to do. It necessitates some pro it causes some problems and necessitates a few things. Like I have to do an interview with you to explain to people how to use it. <laughs> I got to do YouTube videos because you don't dig your hand in and rub it on. Mm-hmm. I got to teach people. I got to go through an education and a, a re-education and I got to break old ideas and I got to tell people if you feel it on the surface of your skin, that's not where the product's working. You don't want it on the surface of your skin. I got to kind of teach people. Also, it's a weird way of applying product when you come right down to it. So I got to, it's harder to move a product, to sell a product this way. But you know what? My concern are women and men too now, metrosexuals and even regular men, everybody has skin. My concern is the individual getting their needs met. That's the only thing I care about. If it turns out that 90% of people can't, you know, it's too much or it's too expensive or it's too, you know, too difficult, fine. There's 10% of people that deserve to have the real deal. Mm-hmm. You know, right now, the Queen of England or movie stars, they got to buy the same products that a, a regular person has to buy. You know, they have millions and millions of dollars. They still got to go to the department store. They still go to Walmart. They still go to the drugstore, wherever they go, wherever people go to buy skincare products. Because these ideas of using 100% active and functional ingredients, using high concentrations of vitamin C and, and vitamin A specifically, using tiny, tiny little amounts when you apply the product, having to massage the product in, having to, uh, uh, having to uh, use damp skin so that the pores are open. These are things that you hear about from regular products, but the mm-hmm. upside of doing all this is you get healthier skin. And Abby, healthy skin is beautiful skin. Mm-hmm. And the proof, that, the proof of all of this is if you take the truth and you apply it to a cut, like, you shave, like a shaving cut or something yeah. like that, 
it will accelerate the healing of your shape. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. But why cool. is that? Because it's, it's stimulating the production of collagen. Mm-hmm. It's stimulating new cell growth. What is it that you want when you want anti-aging or when you want healthy, beautiful skin? The same thing. You want more mm-hmm. collagen. You want more skin cells. You want more moisture factors. You want healthier skin. And that's really the ultimate, that, that's ultimately what this is all about. It's not about the beauty of the skin. It's about the health of the skin. The beauty will then follow. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. So then your products, like it says things like vitamin C here, and I'm guessing there's vitamin A as active ingredient too. No, the only, I got four products. I, I remember I'm a minimal, minimalist. Okay. Products, there's a day product and a night product. And then there's a healing product and there's a treatment. Yeah. The day product and the night product are the date are the truth serum and truth balm. Okay. So we had to change the name because there's somebody else who's saying they're the truth and they're calling theirs truth serum and they're lying. Oh, really? <laughs> it's the greatest I irony. Know. It's the funniest thing. Wow. There's this company's got this crap product. I don't want to mention their name. And they're called truth serum and they own the name and they're trying to tell everybody they're the truth and they made me change oh, my no. name. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to go through all this stuff. So I got to change the name. Okay. But it's still going to be, it's still basically a serum. And the serum is packed with vitamin C, a very specialized form of vitamin C, the expensive what? form of vitamin C. You only use one or two drops, no preservative, fragrance, filler, that, that bottle there, that'll last you six weeks, wow. right? Mm-hmm. Using it one or two, two drops. And I could, I, you know, it's hard to tell on Skype, but, but it looks like, and I had not seen you before, but your skin looks darn good. I don't know if you're what you're doing, but but you have that look of health. My skin is like really dry though. I, I, is your skin dry? Yeah, it is really dry. Like, fats. Fats. Yeah, fat. I have really? an issue with fat absorption. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Definitely, yeah. that'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the eczema. That's what has a lot to do with the eczema. Yeah. So anyway, truth bomb morning and night. The truth omega. Omega-6 healing cream is for healing the skin if you have cuts or scrapes or burns. Uh, the Truth Retinol 5% Gel, that's the one you're talking about. That is very interesting. That's made with 5% retinol, which is more Sorry. retinol than you're going to find any other products. Uh, that one right there. Use it once a week or twice a week, correct? Once okay. a week or twice a week. It looks like you used it a couple times. You don't want to overuse it. It's very stimulating. It's made with 5% retinol to match a 0.05% retinoic acid. I didn't tell you about the different types of vitamin A. There's three mm-hmm. types of vitamin A. There's a kind that's in cosmetics and over-the-counter products called retinyl palmitate. Have you seen that term? Retinyl yeah, I've palmitate. seen it before. That's, that's standard vitamin A. That's okay. not going to do too much. That'll do a little, but very little. Uh, the most powerful form is the kind you go to the doctor and get. That's called retinoic acid. And that's the most powerful, the most effective form of vitamin A. That is the, that's the form of vitamin A that does most of the work in the skin. And it's so strong that you need a prescription for it. Uh, the middle ground is retinol. Okay. And retinol is extremely effective, but it's extremely problematic for formulators because retinol is very, very unstable, number one, and very, very irritating, number two. And so what I, I've always, I've worked with retinol now. Pharmacists know all about retinol because retinoic acid has a reputation for being the only real skincare product that works, that does anything to your skin. So I've always been obsessed with retinol and retinoic acid and vitamin A. And I've, mm-hmm. I've it's been a real focal point for my formulating, uh, for my formulating work and for my formulating research and for my formulating passion, really vitamin A in its retinoic acid form. Retinol is 100 times weaker than retinoic acid, but oh. it's still very irritating and it's also still very unstable. So it's a formulator's nightmare, but if you can figure out how to formulate with it, you can have an effective product. So what I did with that is I made my retinol the same potency as a retin, retinoic acid or retin-A, 0.05%, which is the standard dose for retinoic acid. I made that 5.0, which is 100 times more retinoic acid wow. because that, mm-hmm. that makes it equipotent. So that's like a drug product you have, but in the retinol form. But the beautiful thing is it's no, nowhere near as irritating as the retinoic acid or its other retinols. That's now, good. You can't get five. You can't get a 5% retinol anywhere. But over the 32 years, what I perfected mm-hmm. was a retinol product that is nowhere near as irritating, and it's a retinol product that people who can't use Retin-A can still use. That's it's it. got 5 to 10, even 50 times more retinol than you get in other products because I like working with big doses. It's stable, which is un- unheard of in the world of retinol at that percent. And on top of all of that, it is uh, uh, it is uh, balanced out or it includes – a huge dose of premium vitamin C. Oh, cool. So you're getting, you're getting awesome. high-end retinoic acid 
with vitamin C, that thing will last you six months, eight months. It's like, I don't know, you have the trial size there. It's like uh, 80 bucks or 90 bucks or something like that. It'll last you six months, no irritation or, or very little irritation depending on how sensitive your skin is. And uh, you also get a dose of vitamin C. No preservative, no fragrance, no filler, no wax, no emulsifier, no surfactant. Awesome. No yeah. How, uh, how is retinol for eczema? Very strong. Well, there's two sides to it. Retinol is extremely strong and it's a stimulator of cell growth. That's how retinol exerts its, its effects. It's like putting the gas on the, it's like putting your foot on the gas. Mm -hmm. If you don't have gas and you put your foot in the gas, that's not a good thing. You follow me? Yeah. The retinol puts your foot on the gas, but you got to make sure you got gas in your engine. So if you're nutritionally deficient, especially in fats and you have malabsorption of fats, you got to be careful with retinol because you're really revving things up. And so people with eczema, uh, you got to be careful with your fats. You got to make sure you're using fats and fatty vitamins. When I say fats, I mean essential fatty acids mm -hmm. and fatty vitamins. And also to a certain extent, zinc and selenium, which are two minerals that are handled by the fatty part of the body. So uh, if you have eczema, there's a good chance you got a problem in that regard. So you got to be careful with retinol. On the other hand, because eczema – Eczematous skin, I think that's the word, eczematous skin mm -hmm. is deficient in vitamin A. You need to have vitamin A on the skin. So my recommendation with retinol is you make sure you're getting your enough fats if you have eczema. Make sure you're correcting fat imbalances with probiotics and digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar. Making sure you're taking fats like ultimate like essential fatty acids and vitamin A and vitamin D. Making sure you're getting your minerals that are handled by the fatty system, zinc and selenium uh, especially, and also doing things like bile salts, if you've ever heard of that, lecithin granules. These are all things that can help your, your body process fast. And then and then start using the retinol. But making sure you got the nutritional raw material in terms of fast fatty vitamins as well as minerals in, in your system. So if someone's having like a flare-up on their face, can they still put it on? I wouldn't. No? no okay. No, no. A flare-up is you got the immune system going. I would okay. calm the immune system down. When, when the immune system is revved up like that, you want to calm it down before you put anything on the skin. Okay. The vitamin C you can put on the skin. That's calming and soothing. Mm. That's the juice serum, the truth bomb, or the omega-6 healing cream. Cool. And that was all the time that we had for our episode. If you'd like to try any of Ben's products, you can head to truthtreatments.com and use the code HAVETHETRUTH20. That's HAVETHETRUTH20, and you can get 10% off his products. I hope that today's podcast helped you and gave you new information that you can use on your healing journey. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Eczema Podcast and stay tuned for our next episode. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass it along to your friends and colleagues. Visit PrimePhysiqueNutrition.com for more articles and tips. Thanks for listening.